this is a little video about how to create your blog. So when you go to blogger.com, um, www.blogger.com, you'll come to this beautiful page. Um, and the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to click on sign in so that they know it's you. And you will be prompted to enter your password. And you do not need to enter extra details. And when you come to this page, uh, you um, may have this view here where it says your Google Plus profile. Um, but uh, you uh, may also have another choice here that says limited blogger profile. Uh, if you are under 13, you are required to have a limited blogger profile. You may not have a Google Plus profile. And so you can click this button if you're not uh, seeing the option or the option may be appearing right here to do the limited blogger profile. If you are 13 or over, you may use a Google Plus profile. This makes it easier to share your blog in Google Plus and in online communities. Um, and if you're using your blog to try to reach a wider audience, um, then that could be a good idea for you. But if you are not trying to reach a wider audience, then a limited Google Google profile may be what you're looking for. And if you're under 13, it is absolutely what you're looking for or else your account will actually get closed. So you need to make sure you do a limited blogger profile. And when you click, um, you will be prompted to enter a display name. Your display name is the name that shows for all of the blogs that you create. So it's not about this one blog you're making right now, it's about your blogger account. So for example, I might have my display name be Miss Woods, and um, you might have your display name be your first name and the first letter of your last name. And um, then you can go ahead and click on Continue to Blogger. And here you go. Uh, you don't need to worry about this European Union law um, notification, although you certainly may study it if you like. Um, and now you're in your basic Blogger page. So this will be the page you get to when you go to Blogger. Um, and you have not created a blog yet, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Woohoo! Create blog. Uh, the title of your blog, in if you're working on your learning portfolio connected learning blog, um, may well be your first name and then um, ISPP learning portfolio um, or uh, you could call it a learning journey. It's your blog. Um, and then the address needs to be unique. So there can't, it can't be the same thing as anything else that's been created. So for example, if you wanted to make a blog called I Love Dragons, that is probably not going to be, be available to you. Um, but uh, let's make a bet that Miss Wood's ISPP learning journey is available. Okay, let's try that one. So I'm just going to click here and it's checking. It is available because as it turns out, nobody else has tried to make that blog. So you just need your blog um, address to be unique. You might have noticed when I put a space in it, I got this red exclamation mark and it's because um, actually you can't have spaces in a blog, uh, web address. So there we go, Miss Wood's learning journey. And then the next thing to do is pick your um, theme. You can always change this later. I'm just going to leave it at the one they've given me called Contempo, and I'm going to click Create Blog. Ta-da! So now I have a blog. So um, I'm right now in the space for this blog. I can click here to create a new post. I can click here to create a new post. Um, I can view the blog. And um, up here is where I can create a new blog. And if I had more than one blog, all the blogs would show in a list right here. Um, and then we've also got all kinds of settings, layout, theme. I can add pages. 
um, and I can change the settings. Next video, I'll talk about how to change privacy settings. Okay, have fun blogging.